Hi students, let's have a quick review of today exam paper, CA intermediate, casting paper, May 11th, 2024. Overall review, what I can say, paper is very, very easy. Maybe some students feels, sir, paper is moderate, sir. I can say that must be because of lack of practice. Otherwise, paper is very, very easy. All questions are covered in Masterminds material. Let's start. Don't waste the time. So, this is the paper, sir. Part 2. Question paper comprise 6 questions. Answer question number 1, which is compulsory, and any out of the remaining 5 questions. First one, 1A. One this question related to material cost controlling chapter. Here annual demand of raw material directly given in the problem, ordering cost per order directly given in the problem, carrying cost per unit per annum directly given in the problem, safety stock is also given in the problem, normal lead time is also given in the problem. Then what they are asking this question first bit uh, evo q square root of 2 evo by c apply the values find out the evo q. Next reorder level, LTC plus safety stock, lead time consumption plus safety stock, Fight questions, third one, quantity discount offer, then calculate total cost at two options, whether it is accepted or rejected, if it is cost saved, then it is accepted, so straight question sir, second bit, B bit. This question related to giant and byproducts. Giant and byproducts. Here, question is asking calculate the giant production cost allocation for each product using physical unit method and contribution margin method. So, here, pre separation cost details directly given in the problem. Easily do it. So, next second bit. Product B can be further processed by incurring expenditure of 12,000. Loss in further processing is 12, 2 percent. It, it can be sold at the rate of 18 rupees per unit. Explain the impact on profitability if product B is further processed. Simply calculate incremental profit or loss. Easily decision making. Easy. Next, C bit. This question related to Budgetary control. Budgetary control. This is the straight question. Same question already covered in Masterminds material. Here, question is asking actual hours worked. Using the efficiency ratio SH by AH into 100, South Africa, SH by AH into 100. Then apply the values, then easily calculate actual hours worked. Next to sand hours for actual output. SH. Next activity ratio. That is the product of efficiency ratio and capacity ratio. Straight formula SH by BH into 100. Next to standard capacity usage ratio. So, straight question, first question, very, very simple question. Next, the second question, 2A. This question related to activity based costing. Here, customers details are given, wholesale customers WC1, WC2, retail customers RC1, RC2. So, four customer details are given, then calculate operating income customer wise. Simple revenue less COGS, we get the gross margin, less operating activities cost using ABC approach, then we get customer wise operating income. Next to be, this is service costing, this, this question related to service costing chapter. Day traveling, cost unit per flight. So, your customer is asking calculate the operating income. Simple 
revenue per flight, less variable cost per flight, we get the contribution per flight, less fixed cost, we get the income. Second bit, proposal. If third charges reduces, then automatically occupancy increases. In that case, calculate contribution. If contribution increases, automatically proposal should be accepted. Same question covered in classroom. Easy. Next question. 3A. This question related to budgetary control. Here, Koster is asking, calculate the profit of the company when the factory works 60%, 70%, 90% capacity levels. So, in budgetary control, classification of expenses, variability wise, then collect the variable expenses, then collect the fixed expenses. Start the statement, profit statement, sales less variable cost, we get contribution, less fixed cost, we get the profit. Okay, this is the budgetary control chapter. This question related to budgetary control. Next question. 3B, sir. This is cost accounting system. This question related to cost accounting system, sir. In cost accounting system, reconciliation model, sir. Profits directly given. No need to calculate uh, cost in PL account. No need to calculate financial profit loss account. Here, profits are directly mentioned. Scrutiny also completed. Just uh, transactions are given. Just add or less. Finish. is the reconciliation. It's very, very simple. Prepare reconciliation statement taking net profit as per cost accounts as base. Here question clearly mentioned how to start. Start with the cost books. Find with find the net profit as per financial books. This is very, very simple question. Next fourth question. Fourth question, this is the process costing. Two process accounts details are given. Two process accounts details are given. Here, in process P, some quantity sold, some quantity transferred to next process. So, same problem covered in CRD1 in our masterminds material. Dead DG, sir. Just the process P details, open the process P account, record the production cost details, pass the normal loss, average cost per unit equal to input cost minus realizable value of normal loss divided by input in units minus normal loss in units, easily calculate average cost per unit. Then calculate the cost of abnormal loss or abnormal gain, then close the account, very, very simple. So, here question is asking, prepare the process P account, process Q account, abnormal loss account, abnormal gain account and the costing profit and loss account. Dead DC. Next, B. This question related to ORS chapter absorbed costing method. Here actual ORS are given. Calculate the absorbed ORS cost. Then compare. Here questioner is asking, Calculate the amount of under absorption of production work. directly mentioned in the problem. Under absorption. Under absorption means if actual overhead cost is more than estimated overhead cost. Clue, but it's very, very easy. Statement treatment of under absorption of production words in cost accounts. Treatment in cost accounting. If it is abnormal, then transfer to costing PL account. If it is normal, charge again by using supplementary rate, dead easy. Next, 5A, 5A, this question related to employee turnover, chapter name employee cost, model name employee turnover. Here question is asking profit foregone due to employee turnover. Here last year details are given. First of all, calculate the contribution for last year. Then calculate the contribution per hour. 
here hours were lost due to employee turnover straight away given then multiply we get the contribution lost then add remaining expenses directly given in the problem finally we get profit foregone due to employee turnover that is next b the following information is given by pqr limited two years sales and profits are given here there is no information about the price structure and cost structure in that case structure is same price structure is same in both years cost structure is same in both years in that case first we have to calculate pv ratio by using the special formula change in profit by change in sales into 100 next calculate fixed cost and then question is asking break even sales nothing but fixed cost by pv ratio next year second bit next year price structure changes cross year next year selling price will remain same price structure is same but cost structure differed cost structure differed so revised variable cost calculate revised variable cost next revised fixed cost but price structure is same price structure is same here question is asking calculate desired sales volume company wants to earn a desired profit of 15 lakhs so desired profit is given then desired sales volume equal to fixed cost plus profit divided by contribution per unit this is also straight question next question c discuss feedback control and feed forward control system of budgetary control feedback control means actuals after getting the actuals compare with the budgets after getting the actuals then prepare the budgets for actual activity then compare that is feedback control so after getting the results actual results that actual is compare with the budgets we then that is called feedback control feed forward control that means at the at the time of inspection inception at the time of starting at the time of starting budgets are prepared then compare with actuals that is the feed forward control system that is the continuity system so this type of questions already discussed in the classroom next 6a distinguish between cost control and cost reduction this is straight theory question this question related to introduction to cost and management accounting next 6b distinguish between waste and scrap discuss the treatment of normal and abnormal scrap in cost accounts this question related to metal cost controlling Side question. Next, C question. Describe unit costing. Similar units of a single product completed in a single stage. Such type of cost ascertaining program is called as unit costing. Example: bricks industry, coal industry, batch costing. All costs are charged to a group of orders. That means batch. That is called batch costing. Example: pharmaceutical industry. that easy question next alternative c here describe briefly idle time and explain the treatment of idle time in cost accounts in following situations idle time two types normal idle time abnormal idle time so here three cases are given first case the setting up time for the machine in case of direct worker mr a that is normal idle time normal break time for lunch in case of indirect workers that is also right next time lost due to breakdown of machine in case of worker mr c that is breakdown if it is sudden machine breakdown that is abnormal that is abnormal so theory questions also very very simple and straight questions so paper is very very easy finally i can say paper is very very easy